Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, getting ready for my trip, it's not until November, to Disney. And actually, I'm running at Disney, but I'm going to visit Universal. I am a huge Florida fan. I just love to go and I love to get some Mickey time in and I love to get some Wizard World time in. I like the big rides at Universal. I like the magic at Disney. So I am a Florida girl. I go there several times a year and I make really short trips, like weekend trips with a, fr a girlfriend. Now, occasionally I have these six grandchildren and we have taken, well not I've taken, I've accompanied one family, one grand set of grandchildren to Disney and we've done longer trips and so that's a whole different experience than going as an adult with a girlfriend to going with a family with young children. It's quite different, right? All right, so the fall's coming up. Lots of people have some trips planned on long weekends or Thanksgiving or Christmas where they're taking their family to Disney. And I don't know about you, but you know, I like to bring my ears or buy a pair or two or three or four. And if it's Mardi Gras, I have another set of ears for that. So I do like, I do like my ears. I like to wear them. But I can tell you that at times, well, number one, there are certain rides you have to take your ears off. And hats, if you wear a hat at Disney. Gotta take it off or else it goes flying like Space Mountain. It's gone. So you might have to take those ears off. Second off, Sometimes I like to change my ears. So I have my morning ears and I have my evening ears. If I'm going to the Christmas party, I might have my day ears, but then I might have my Christmas ears and I have a pair of spooky ears too. So anyway, I do like my ears. And if you have a family, you might have multiple ears. They have a tendency to give me a headache and so I do have to take them off and rest from them periodically. So what do you do with them? What do you do with all these ears? Well, my friend turned me on to um, this idea. She bought one at Etsy. I don't think I can get it. And it is a ear holder, an ear holder that several people on Etsy make. But I made this one myself. So you can make your own ear holder. Now you guys, they aren't that expensive. They clip right onto a backpack, just like that. This one I made to hold two pairs of ears. But if you're making your own, you can make them however you want. So today we're gonna go over some different ways to make an ear or a hat holder. Would be great when you're going to the park, would be great when you're going out, like my um, daughter took her two to the beach yesterday. This would have been great on her backpack to hold the hats after the kids didn't want to wear the hats anymore. So it can hold hats or it can hold ears. We're going to talk ears, but remember, this is a craft that can go for hats as well. All right, so before we get down to the table so I can show you all the different options you have from those of you that might be a sewer to those of you who are definitely not a sewer, all kinds of different things you can do in between from one to the other, whatever you're comfortable with and whatever fits your family needs. So let's get down to the table, but before we do, Welcome to my channel, so glad you're here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, I'm so glad to have you back. Um, please consider giving the video a like. Please consider giving a thumbs up. And I would love to hear from you in the comments. So tell me, what do you do with your ears or your hats when you go to the beach or the theme park or anything like that? All right, so let's get down to the table. Okay. So, we are down to the table. I have my coffee, I'm ready to go. 
I'd have the glue gun heating up, but this video is not really, uh, this project is not really a glue gun project. So um, we are going to be using some fabric glue, and I am using Fabrifix, which of course I don't have a bottle. I have turned it, I have poured it into um, these little Sugar Bell bottles. I saw it on a video, Pam at the paper outpost and she puts them in these sugar bell containers she gets um less of a like a finer stream and when you're doing paper products paper crafts that's can be important and um they're easier to squeeze on your hands so that's a definitely a plus but fabrifix is intended for gluing fabric and we are going to be working with fabric today and it it bonds pretty quickly so um let's just look at this prototype that i literally whipped up 30 minutes ago that's how that's how quickly this was done and it's all glued or this snap this cute little snap that i put on there all right so the first thing is you have a clip so that you can clip it onto your backpack um, I find this one kind of a small clip, but that's okay. Um, and it has a semicircle ring, and I'm going to show them to you in a minute. I was able to get, oh, here they are. I was able to get mine, let's get closer. I was able to get mine off of Timu. I will put it down in the description below and how much it costs, because I really don't remember. Uh, but it is a whole big bag of them, so you can make and sell to your friends or put it on I don't know <laughs> put it on Facebook somebody marketplace you know maybe get your money back I, I they weren't expensive all right so you need a clip and that's what I have at the top the second thing you need is some sort of material well this was left out it was in like one of those grab bags now make sure when you're getting your material that it is the same width as this band right here. So where is my, oh, there it is. All right, so this is an inch. And my ribbon is an inch. But I tell you, it was kind, it's kind of a tight squeeze. So this would be better for a ribbon that's maybe three quarter inch. Can I use this if I have it? Sure, look, it, it, it went on, it fits. Um, and that's this one too. This one was an inch and it's on. It's this woven material, but um, so it compressed easier than this nylon did, but that's okay, it works. So these were leftovers. I even have this, look at this. This came from a um, gift and I saved it because I thought the ribbon was nice. This would go really well in there oh perfect this would be perfect maybe we'll make this one today how big is this ribbon like i was going to make a prototype for you this is three quarter inch so depending on what you what clip you get and put this here so i can find it this is the type of, this is the ribbon you need you need it a little bit smaller than this part now um can you use a lanyard you already have sure this one this one came from timu again we'll put the link in it was a couple dollars or a dollar something it was so cheap and it's already uh sewn and put together so no big deal nice heavy sturdy clip at the top you want to make sure whatever you do has this claw clip at the top and you want to make sure it's long enough. This is six inches. And I'm talking six inches that open. Like this part really doesn't count because it doesn't open. And why do you need at least six inches? Because these ears <laughs> are pretty big. So you've got to be able to get... Oh, that one's attached. You've got to be able to get the ear part through and then if it has a decoration you have to be able to get it through now why don't I just wear it like that well I could but it's gonna slip see how it slips 
So we're going to put something here that would keep it kind of close. And also, if it's at least six inches, you might be able to get two sets of ears. If you intend on carrying at least two sets, really check it out because you might want to go eight inches just to have enough room. I bought this from Timu as well because I thought it was cute. Has a little clip. It had a Mickey Minnie on there and this cute little hello. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute? But get, it's not six inches. It's only three and a half. And guess what? This does not fit through it. But now, would it be good for just putting my hats on? Sure. I could use it for that. So if I'm not... If I'm not pulling ears around, if I'm pulling a hat, this would be great on your backpack for getting your hats around anywhere. The beach, the park, the theme park, wherever. So this one was too short, but it will be put to good use. Don't worry. All right, and then I had another one. This is my actually my lanyard that I'm using now. A friend gave me this. I'm it was so thrilled. It's it's uh, Vera Bradley, but it's it's Disney. It's Snow White and Tigger. And so isn't it cute? So I could take this that's already being used. It's already on uh, a clip, and I use this clip quite often. And I could just attach something in the middle, like I attached here, here, to keep my ears on. All right, so let's talk about attachment. What are you going to use? All right, so the easiest thing, literally, the easiest thing is, and, you know, something that would, where'd they go? Well, my Velcro's hiding, so I just went and got some more. All right, so some Velcro. They sell this, not this particular style, but they sell this at Dollar Tree. Um, and this is, there's, if you go to Joann's or I guess Michael's too, they do have a um, a sew variety. So if you would like to sew it on, you can. Um, so there's no adhesive to the back, but we're going to do um, we're going to do the sticky, but we're going to make it a little bit more. I don't know. Uh, secure. So we're not going to trust that this is going to uh, stay on as I'm pulling it apart and everything at the park. So we're going to take some of our Fabrifix glue and we're going to add it to the Velcro. And that way I know that after this fabric fix dries, it is going to make a very secure closure. All right, so there you go. There's one made. Ooh, I have fabric fix on me. So there's one made with a cute little, just with Velcro. And I'm not going to touch it yet. We'll open it in a minute. And that way, when you go to put your ears on, well, let's open it now. Let's see. All right. When you go to put your ears on, you just un-Velcro it. Slip. Oh, wait. Let's pull you back so you can see. Un-Velcro it. Let's slip those ears in. And then just close. Oh, let's just see. Let's hold it the right way and just snap that Velcro. And if you have two pairs of ears, you would just put two in and then just close the Velcro at um, in between. And that way everything is secure and it's not going anywhere. Well, what if, what if you have, you are a person <laughs> with things in your stash and so, do you have any of these cute little rubber bands that little girls use in their hair? Um, what are these little rubber bands? And I was actually at Sally's today getting a new blow dryer, and I saw they had some heavy-duty ones. 
you could put a rubber band too around that and that would like a hair rubber band and as long as it's snug this way and you have maybe a few of them in case it breaks then it would hold your ears and I don't know if I have any more ears I do so you would just uh, pull your rubber band up pull your ears through and then just pull those rubber bands down and there you go you have you have a secure ear holder that can hold two ears without doing anything just taking just taking what you have in your your stash all right so that's that's another option okay so what if I want to make my own? So here's, here's some material. Let's use the Vera Bradley material. Let's use the Vera Bradley. And this is what I did with the black one that I, I did as our first demo. Take a hook, take some material, some, uh, let's make this one longer. This isn't, these are not my uh, material scissors. So we made Vera I mean, we made the black one. I lost my a ruler. Lord, oh, there I see it now. They we made the uh, the black one was six inches, so that would be twelve. Well, six seven because you covered one, so that's fourteen. That's fourteen right there. Let's go another inch. Let's just go another inch. That's it. I'm just going to do another inch. So I 15, 16, 17. So this one will be um, about that long. It'll be about seven, maybe seven and a half. So we have our ribbon just like that. Let's come back closer again. All right. We need a little piece of ribbon to do a fold over. So that's no more than two inches, and two inches is really a lot. I do about an inch and a half. Inch and a half fold over. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our ring in there, just like that. And actually, our ring has to go this way. It has to go this way. There. All right, so our ring goes in our small piece, like that. Let me get my fabric fix. We're gonna do now. Be careful with your glue. I, I put too much on the first one, and I ended up with a kind of a mess. So you're gonna put it on the the right side, because all we're doing is gluing this on, just like that. Put this back here. Why won't you move? There we go. Put this on top of the other one and then glue this piece down. Now, like I said, if you sew, you can definitely take this to the sewing machine and sew it. Oh, and we want to kind of put some glue here. That will hold this like that. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. We are... We are not even, and I don't like not even. There we go. All right, and I put these cute little clips on, and it just kind of holds it in place while it dries. So that is a nice long one. It's a good seven inches. Now, we could put our Velcro here, but on my other one, and this, y'all, I just had because I wanted to make... Um, uh, neckerchiefs, handkerchiefs that go around the neck of a dog and, uh, and they at the groomer they put them around our doodle and they tie them and I wanted one that snapped so I bought this at Hobby Lobby and it's plastic snap pliers and I actually have not made the dog uh, the dog uh, bandanas there you go I finally figured out the word but I can use them on this right now now, if I can find all the pieces that I have 
successfully lost in here. All right, so I'm going to go about halfway, about halfway, which is about here, and poke a hole through. There we go. And let's see if I can remember how this is done. All right, so we're going to put the snap, the part you want to show right there, the part that goes on the inside right there. We have our cute little machine here. And we squeeze. All right, there we go. And that has put my snap right there. And now I'm going to take, let me make sure I get this right, I am going to take my bottom one, which is this one. Oh, I dropped it, which is this one. Another cap. Through. This is. Well, I had to stop recording and figure that one out. I had, it took me a second to get the bottom on. I read directions, I read directions, I read directions. One thing they neglected to say was that you had to stick this little cap on the bottom. All right, so I did. I put the cap through, I put the, the other part of the snap and then just pressed and there you go it's on now I have a snap Ugh. do I have the same side did I put the same no it snapped it just didn't make the noise all right so it's closed I don't know if I particularly I'm thinking velcro would be a whole lot easier and trustworthy than that that kind of worries me all right so we did, we made our, now this is nice and dry by the time it took me to figure it out. Let me pull you back again. All right, there we go. We made our clip. There's our clip. We have a snap. Now really and truly, if you want to get really, really fancy, those are my directions. Um, you could take some cute little uh, Mickey buttons and you could glue the buttons on there or um, these have this like foam. I don't know if that's supposed to stick or not, but I would just glue if I was going to put them on there. Or you could just leave it like that. The snaps themselves look great. Where is the one with the Velcro? Oh, this one has, this one just has the rubber band. Um, which one have we put? Oh, we put the Velcro on this one. Yeah. So you could take your your mickey and you can put it right there and then you kind of know then where your velcro is or you could just leave it off i mean it's no big deal let's see this one this one i'm 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 like pro velcro on this craft i'm thinking the velcro works just as easy in fact a lot easier than these snaps that i don't really i'm not so totally trustworthy about all right so that's it that is our craft for today um I'm going to take them out so you can, well, you don't need to take this one out. Let's just snap this one back on. There we go. That one snaps nice. Um, all right. So we have our, we have our rubber band version. We have a snap version. Let's we'll put it this way. We have our snap version on some different type of material. And then we have a uh, wristlet that we purchased already and we just added Velcro to it. So, so there you go. Many varieties depending on your comfort and skill level to making a hat slash headband holder for your next trip to the park or to the beach or to <laughs> to the theme park wherever that might be all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video today y'all have a great day and i'll see you on the next one